All right, so we're here uh, on the coast of the Pacific Ocean, just south of San Francisco, and this is what the surf looks like today with the wind coming in from the west. Mm -hmm. um, we're just remarking; it's kind of weird you can to taste see. It. Yeah, and you can taste the ocean, but it's really weird to see like mountains that close to the beach for someone from the eastern United States. Here we have two California slender salamanders, uh, members of the genus Bashatrops, unique to the west coast, uh, well anyway, the western part of North America. This is the first that Bethany or I have seen of the slender salamanders. They are um, what, especially widespread through California, and they reach an incredible peak density down in Kern County, which is near Bakersfield where just like every hollow basically has its own species of slender inhabiting it. The northern part of the state pretty uniformly has what we're looking at here, which is the good old-fashioned California slender. <laughs> we flipped both of these guys under one log. Here's, that one over there. Yeah. And we're in this gorgeous redwood forest that Beth Yeah, here I'll get, I'll get some uh, shots of this. Here's a cool bug that smells like vanilla extract. It's kind of like this green. Oh, here's, uh, Santa Cruz Whoa! Woohoo! That guy. All right. Yahtzee. Let me see. Let me see. <gasps> we rolled the Yachi on that one. All right, you did. Woo. Here we go. Yeah, go. On fire. On fire. <laughs> Woo. All right. I'm getting picture and video of this guy. Yeah. Or I'm taking video right now. Okay. Well. This is a Santa Cruz black salamander. It's uh, actually in a nadies. A mate, yeah. Uh, which is weird because it doesn't entirely look like one. It kind of does. A little bit with like the, the head shape sort of. I mean, it looks just like a slimy. Yeah. This guy's northern cousin is a speckled black, which we're going to be seeing, I think, for like the rest of I the trip. I hope so, yeah. Once we get north of the bay. But this guy just lives in a little narrow area in like Santa Clara, wow. San Mateo County area. And we just flipped him under this mossy rock. You group. did? Well, I did. Yep. I'm still on the We I Atonement Plan. For those <laughs> of you who follow our YouTube videos religiously. Atonement Plan. Uh, <laughs> Bethany's Atonement Plan. Uh-huh. Anyway, Santa Cruz Black. Woo! Good job. <laughs> Alrighty, yellow eyed satna number one. Wow, this one's a little juvie. It's got a pretty big head. Wow. This was my. And satnas were probably my number one target for California. So, yeah, pretty cool. Gotta dig the bright orange legs on this. Yeah. And oh, the wow. Pinkish purple background. So this one was slipped under a log. Wow. That's beautiful. Woo! And the habitat is amazing. Nathan and I were just talking about the smell of the forest is amazing. Mm -hmm. It smells really good. Yeah. It has more like a, I don't know, would you say it's more acidic smell than the Smokies? Maybe. It's like, it's, it's, a, it's a more sharp smell than the Smokies, mm -hmm. in a good way. It's very distinctive, yeah. like the Smokies. If you've ever been in the spruce fir forest of the Smokies looking for red cheeks or something, you know that distinctive smell. When you get above about 4,000 feet on 441, there's just been a rain, 
it's just kind of like a magical, sentimental smell to anyone yeah. who's ever hurt there. Or been there for that matter. <laughs> yeah. Smell Say, uh, Nick Scoble. <laughs> Pretty awesome. Habitat. What temperature would you say it is? About 50. 50? 50, 50 well, degrees. Maybe a bit above 50. Oregon. Yeah. Alright, just some more redwoods here, folks. This is the kind of habitat we were herping in for the past couple hours where we found the Ensatna and the Slender. The slenders, plural. 25 of them, although we only got video and pictures of a couple. And the Santa Cruz Black. A little bit of Central California scenery for you folks. So this is a California tree frog that, uh, yeah, and the subspecies is Pacific that Bethany and I found on the edge of a backyard um, water, water fountain, fountain thing. rock garden type thing. Yep. Yep. Bethany heard them calling when we got home and we just sort of inspected the edge with flashlights. And at first found nothing because they all stopped calling. There are only two or three of them. Bethany somehow saw this guy. So we got a little rain shower coming down. Just some central California scenery for you folks. Here in the Santa Clara Valley. Had a lot of rain lately, so. Okay. Bethany wants to videotape me. Not how I imagine California. <laughs> this is a golden eagle that just swooped right in front of Nathan and I as we were walking down this hill. It came probably, yeah, uh, I don't know. Because it doesn't have a ball yet, and it's huge, and it doesn't have a red tail. Alright, so here, folks, we have a northern elephant seal on a beach in California. He was just moving his flippers around, so hopefully he moves again and proves that he's not a dead parrot as the Monty Python skit goes. He didn't move for like the first 10 minutes we were here, so we were convinced that, he, well, she, yeah, he doesn't have the big proboscis, which means it's not a male. So elephant seals breed this time of year along the California coast. Here's the ocean where we are. Uh, especially on beaches in this part of the state. This is like a solitary one. Yeah. You're coming up on some elephant seals. <laughs> Those are big seals. Yeah. We've got two elephant seals right here that are males thinking about battling. Oh man. Yeah, they're making those guttural noises and 
Oh my goodness. Trying to bite each other. It's their breeding season. They're oh, they look so weird. For rights to females. What they don't know is they've already lost the main battle. That's why they're on this beach. A local just told us this is called Loser Beach. Because it's where all the males who lost rights to mate go. <laughs> They're just all or kind maybe, of bored, yeah, hanging maybe. out, eating Cheetos, unemployed. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. Uh, they're just doing something weird. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> they're so weird. They're the weirdest things. Is calm. So I wonder if, if that was like a territorial type of thing. Uh -huh. Is that like a territorial call or a braiding call? I don't know. <laughs> Those are some big critters. Yeah. But it's still that same morning where we saw the other one that looked dead. Yeah. And we're on the coast, uh, a little bit south of San Fran. Yeah, I really do not want to, uh... Only see the one dead one. Yeah. It wasn't actually dead, but... It looked dead. Yeah. If you returned it to the Monty Python Dead Perry Pet Store, you would have gotten sent on the train to Ipswich. If you haven't seen the Monty Python parrot sketch, you need to watch it. These things are awesome. The pinnipeds. That includes the seals, the sea lions, marine mammals. <laughs> All right, Bethany, what do you got? Five and sentinels. Yep. Here in uh, a certain state park with redwood trees all around. Mm-hmm. Right, we got bikers coming over. Okay. Yeah. We're in the redwoods. Oh. Alright, look at what Nathan just found. California giant okay, salamander. Hands a little bit sexy. Oh my goodness. This guy's a sub-adult. They get a lot bigger, but this was one right, of our main targets on the trip. There you go. We both had like this extreme celebration. Yeah. Woo! -hoo! Trying to come down off the high. This right is now. like why we came here, and we also found how many like 15, 16. Uh, we're on. In Satinas. We're on in Satin number 16 right now. Wow. See how he's modeled. I hope that's coming through on the video. Kind of yeah. How you can see like the purplish gray and black modeling. So, wow. Like I said, this guy's a juvenile. They get huge, like bigger than my hand. Yeah. But. Oh yeah. Nonetheless, this is a metamorphosized individual. This is awesome. Yeah, we we're we we're saying you know if that'd be bad if we found a larva, then we'd be like, oh man, yeah. awesome. It's always, okay. It's always the worst when you find a, a larva of your target species, yeah. but not the adult. Yeah, I think my battery's going a little bit low. So. Okay. Here. One last look for the camera. Is the video good? Yeah. Oh yeah, get him in that lighting. Right, huh? You can see his color. There you go. Giving you folks the uh, musical oh, and dear. and uh, scenic vibe of the trip right now. My mom loves this song, and I rediscovered it sort of at random three weeks ago. And it fits much better when you're driving along the Pacific Ocean. Oh my goodness.
sea otter out there playing oh my goodness oh my goodness oh my goodness that is awesome wow this one has been going down and coming back up for about uh, five ten minutes or so and he was just eating something a little bit earlier right now Nathan's parking the car so hopefully he'll come back pretty soon so we can see this one. Alright, here's some more footage. Oh my goodness, that is awesome. <laughs> oh my goodness, they're so cute! Here's a strange looking bird trying to get out of, out of the mud. It's having a little bit of a hard time. Not quite sure what kind it is, but uh, we will find out later. All right, here are a whole bunch of harbor seals that we see at the same spot as um, the sea otters. Wow, this camera is really shaky. And also, um well, Bethany's getting a video of the harbor seals. We saw a Gabalin Mountain Slender Salamander, which looks a lot like a California Giant, under some driftwood down there. But since we only had the telescopic lens, we just took some pictures and did yeah. a big video. It looks a lot like a California Slender, but really weird habitat there you go, that's better. to find a salamander. Yeah, I would have never ever guessed that we would find a salamander because this is what this is how dry the land is. Like sandy and dry. Woo -hoo. 